Hi guys, I am Dr. Alexander and today we will talk about congestive heart failure or CHF. CHF affects millions of people around the world and since it means that uh, body's needs are not being met, it can ultimately lead to death of patients or of the affected people. So part of the reason why so many people are affected by CHF is that there are a wide variety of heart diseases or that uh, can impair the heart's ability to pump out blood over time. So heart failure is used to describe a point at which the heart cannot supply enough, uh, enough blood to meet the body's demand. If you are going to the classification, you see many types like if you are looking to the heart, it can be divided in two parts like left and right. Uh, another classification is uh, congestive heart failure, systolic type and diastolic. It, it is attributed to the ventricles. This one is the right ventricle and this one is the left ventricle. Systole means that cannot pump enough, enough blood to the aorta from the left ventricle. Right-sided heart failure systolic type means that right ventricle cannot pump enough blood to the pulmonary artery. Diastolic means that any of the ventricle is not filled well with blood from the atriums, left or right respectively. Uh, by ventricular or global congestive heart failure means that the entire heart is affected. Uh, first first uh, affection comes from left ventricle and it becomes decompensated, goes to the left atrium, left atrium uh, backing up fluids especially uh, blood to the pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, pulmonary artery coming back and high, uh, right uh, ventricle become hypertrophied and decompensated. So another classification is by morphology, hypertrophic, dilated and restrictive. If we are imagining that this one is a layer of the cardiac muscle and it will hypertrophy so you can imagine this that this vessel that passing close to the uh, to the muscle have to supply with blood this layer and when layer adds or hypertrophy this one cannot achieve the entire layer of the muscle and entire layer of the muscle become vulnerable or uh, on risk to be uh, ischemic why uh, inner late because uh, because vessel that supply uh, uh, heart are outside and I mean coronary arteries and they coming like in this way so dilated um, dilated type Let, let's talk once again about this hypertrophy type it is of many cases like overwork especially the left ventricle in hypertension one of the cause another could be aortic uh, stenosis or uh, uh, exercising uh, stress exercise like sportsman or sportwoman and it increases in size but especially in become with a thick layer of the muscle another type is dilated so chamber should be dilated and of course of bigger size it could be uh, thin or sick depending on the situation and the stage a restrictive type means that for example this portion of the muscle is affected after acute myocardial infarction and it will be or it will be changed with collagen or fibrin type of tissue and this zone will not be uh, working will not participate in the in the uh, act of the contraction of the uh, pumping what are the causes of congestive heart failure there are many like ischemic heart disease or coronary artery atherosclerosis they are like in the same boat for example this is a vessel coronary artery one of them and a vessel is with aceromas or 
atherosclerosis even with uh, some blocks so blocks so a blood will not supply adequately or even will be uh, uh, stopped valvular disease if you are looking to this grid picture of the heart valvular disease here is a, a mitral valve this one is a tricuspid tricuspid so they can uh, uh, have a two affection like insufficiency or stenosis if they are have stenosis means that atrium uh, required to apply a greater forces uh, to pump blood to the ventricles and will be hypertrophied if they have insufficiency the same thing that more blood coming back and the uh, diastolic part will, will become uh, with more forces or long-standing hypertension as you know 98 percent of patients have essential hypertension which means that there are no certain causes of of the disease another two persons have diseases like renal uh, or anything else endocrinological so uh, if have renal uh, problems for example this one is a renal artery and if to the kidney coming less uh, blood kidney exercise that is low pressure and start to, to secrete uh, renin angiotensin aldosterone and effects of this cascade you know like vasoconstriction reabsorption of sodium and water and and increased uh, pressure of the blood another causes uh, could be long-standing alcohol abuse alcohol abuse is toxic for any of the organ or or system of organs and especially to the liver idiopathic when you don't know any other causes of the disease but heart is uh, affected or pathological uh, chronic lung disease or call it core pulmonary any of the chronic lung disease uh, can induce vasoconstriction and this vasoconstriction of the pulmonary artery lead to increased pressure not 25 but 30 or even more and of course uh, right ventricle or hyper or hypertrophy let's talk about ejection fraction of the heart or uh, how it is calculated so ejection fraction mean the fraction of the blood that is ejection uh, that is ejected outside uh, through the aorta and uh, it is calculated by the following formula like n diastolic uh n diastolic volume minus n systolic volume divided by uh n diastolic volume normal range of the ejection fraction is from 50 to 17 for example if the, the chamber of the left ventricle have 110 milliliters and you eject 70 milliliter it will not collapse uh, it will have at the end of the systole around uh, 40 milliliters so around uh, uh, 36 if to be uh, correct percent will remain inside uh, a volume of blood will re remain inside so if you are pumping 70 percent for uh, 70 milliliters of blood for around 40 will remain inside and cardiac output is uh, calculated by the following formula like heart rate oriented in one minute so heart rate per minute for example have 70 beats per minute uh, multiplying by stroke volume and you can calculate stroke volume that is around 70 and the result that it is around 49.00 around 5 liters per minute is going through this aorta to the entire body how is diagnosed uh, 
congestive heart failure. You can use tests like uh, B-type natriuretic peptide or beta natriuretic peptide, which is specific to the congestive heart failure. Uh, EKG, you will see some hypertrophy. Echo of the cord, it is it, close to the heart. You can see uh, how, how does the heart contract or which portions do not participate in the contractions, any regurgitations or stenosis of the valves. Stress test, CT, MRI, coronary angiography will help if patient have atherosclerosis and vessel is obstructed and myocardial biopsy but it is it is not not a, a procedure that is done for every patient what is the treatment for congestive heart failure first of all you have to uh, restrict patient to fluids to take less fluids as usual uh, another step is diuretics and ACE inhibitors which are uh, which diminish the remodeling of the heart. Also, you can give cardiac glycosides, pacemaker, if uh, there are any arrhythmias and you want to, uh, to reg regulate uh, the contractions and impulses to the every chamber. And cardiac transplant is also rarely done. It is a very uh, extreme procedure. Thank you very much for your watching. Have a great time.